cascading pondless waterfall, it's important that you have adequate amount of water in the system to keep the pump working effectively. That means the longer the stream or the further back the waterfall is from the actual pond or the basin, it requires more water to operate. And with that kind of water, what I would call water in motion, you need to have that in the basin uh, or the pond uh, above the pump. If that amount of water is above the pump and everything's working effectively, then you won't have the problem of water actually overflowing out of a pond or the basin if the pump's turned off. That can cause additional problems outside the pond. There's a great calculation. You take the length of that stream times the width of that stream times the depth of the water, the thickness of water that's actually traveling down it. 7.48 is the amount of gallons in a cubic foot. Once you have that calculation, you need to determine actually how much water is going to be adequate in the system, the basin, or in the pond to, to have the water storage available. So I usually multiply that number of water in motion times 2.5. And 2.5 gives me enough water that when the system's turned off, all that water in motion can still be stored without spilling over, maybe making a flood or something happen outside your pond or the basin, plus enough water for evaporation on the daily use of it, and enough water during the daily operation that the pump is always covered. It's important that your pump remains covered during operation, uh, therefore preventing any air pockets, excessive noise, and things that may actually uh, destroy or prolong, not necessarily prolong the life of a pump. It may prevent the pump from lasting as long. So once you have the amount of water in motion, you multiply it times 2.5 to get the water that's necessary in your basin or in your pond to keep your pump from running dry. A great way to uh, keep the space of that basin uh, small is to use water matrix. Water matrix store water. Our large water matrix stored 32 gallons of water, while the small matrix stores 17 gallons of water. The important thing to remember here is that when you use water matrix, you don't need as much or as large of a basin area to store the water. You can store larger volumes of water and a smaller footprint, and that gives you the most flexibility on design.